In today's episode, I'm going to update a Ender 3 Pro with a 32-bit board from Big Tree Tech. I'll show you how to do it and how to update the firmware on today's Film of Friday. Film of Friday is brought to you every week by these Patreon supporters. Here's the board I'm going to use. It's the Big Tree Tech SKR Mini E3 version 1.2. There's also a version 2.0, but we're going to work with the version 1.2 today. It's about $36. Version 2.0, which is a little bit later, is about $10 more. So let's get this installed. Let me show you how to do it. To get access to the board, there's one screw on top and then these three on the bottom that you need to remove so we can take the cover off. I also suggest you take a picture of the wiring so you know where everything is at. And then here's the replacement board and it matches up exactly to the old one. So we need to take the old one out and there's four screws. I just use a screwdriver and a pliers so I don't lose those little screws. And then you can take the board out and then we'll swap the wires. So one by one I disconnect and I try to connect on a new board. But a lot of these are labeled so it's not a big deal to pull them off and then install them later. And then these other wires need to be unscrewed with a little screwdriver. I try to do these one at a time. That way I get it in the right slot and everything lines up. And once you get everything installed, now we can put the board back in place and it lines up with those same screws. Put those four screws back in place. Make sure the SD card is in its slot in the front and then route all the power wires so they don't get pinched. I did notice that the fan cooling and electronics does not run when the power is on. You can actually swap the two connectors. The cooling fan for the filament should be on the lower connector and then this fan on the upper connector. And then when power is on, this fan runs all the time, the same as the fan on the hot end. And then the filament cooling fan is controlled by the PWM. I powered it up and everything looked good. The menu is a little bit different. I went into printer info and you can see this is running bug fix 2.0. So this is old firmware. Updated firmware is already available. Here's the site to go to. This is all the information on the Big Tree Tech boards. You go here, download the zip file. It'll download everything. Unzip it. And here's the firmware. There's a version 1, version 1.2, and 2.0. I have a 1.2. Now there is a BL Touch with Z Homing and a BL Touch, but I just want the standard firmware. So this is the one I'm going to download and put it on a blank SD card. To install the firmware, we shut power off, insert that SD card with the new firmware, turn it back on. It'll take a few minutes and then the screen will come up. And you briefly saw that it's updated, but let's go to About Printer, Printer Info. You can see now we're running 2.0.5.3, the latest version. And I'm happy to report that my bed leveling G code works perfectly on this. You click the button, moves to the next spot so I can level there. And then when I'm done, I was able to print my squares. It came out great. I used some Fiberology, Fiber Silk Gold, and this vase came out beautiful. And this has been around. There's a lot of people already have this on their machines, so it's proven to work really well. There's also now a version 2.0. And I got this one. I'm going to install this on a different machine. I wanted to try the 1.2 and see how it does. Another thing you can do is put a glass bed. I've shown in a previous video this, that you can just pop a glass bed on there. You get a nice even level. And really, at that point, you've got the core of the Ender 3 V2. Because Ender 3 V2 is a 32-bit board and a glass bed. Now, you don't have the adjusters. You can easily add those. I do have the knob. I have an Easy R on this, which is my favorite extruder for these. But... Overall, you can build your own V2 essentially by doing this. Now, there's one caveat. Some of the new Ender 3 Pros are coming with a 32-bit board, the same board that's on the Ender 3 V2. Why Creality is doing this, I don't know if they ran out of boards or what. It's not every one, but it's popping up in different places. I'm trying to find out if this is going to be something they're doing in the future or is this a temporary thing. But several people have commented that they can't run my bed level on their brand new Ender 3 V2. Well, that's why. It's running the Creality firmware, which doesn't recognize the M0 command, so my code doesn't work. But this does, the Big Tree Tech does. So if you want 32 bit on your old existing Ender 3 or Ender 3 Pro, this is an easy way to do it. I'll put links to all this in the description below. If you like what I'm doing here, maybe check out some of the videos that are popping up. And maybe click on that check logo and subscribe. That way you don't miss an episode. I'll see you next time right here at Filament Friday.